Hi, I'm Nathaniel Kelly Wilson and I'm Chair of Bletchley and Venice Stratford Town Council. Hi, I'm Terry Stevens. I chair the Community Committee and I represent Manor South. So we're here today at Sycamore Hall and we want to tell you why we're investing in this community asset which has been here for almost 50 years. So over the last couple of years we've had a strategy to really focus on the services that we provide to the local community and back in 2021 we moved our town council offices to Sycamore House which is right next door to the Sycamore Hall building. As you know the, the Lakes Regeneration Programme is, is ongoing at the moment and as part of that uh, regeneration um, the the original Warren and also Spotlight will become um, not, not usable anymore. So we have now alternative accommodation to house these, uh, these events, which would, would have been at these, um, these spaces. So here at Sycamore Hall, we want to invest in this building for the future. And this building was first given over to community use during the late 70s and it's had a long, interesting and varied life um, but it wasn't built for the time that is now. It needs completely new heating, it needs insulation, all of the windows need to be replaced. Um, it uses far more energy than it should do for the time that we are currently in and so we want to redevelop this site because it's got good bones. We want to redevelop this site um, for the future and for the next generation of people who live here in Bletchley and Venice Stratford. I think you can see the potential this building's got, but unfortunately due to its age of 50 years, it hasn't got the amenities that we'd expect in a modern building. For example, there's no access to disabled toilets. Um, the wiring needs to be redone. Um, so doors will need to be replaced. Um, but you can, so you can see by standing in there that the history that this, this building presents us and the opportunity we've got as a council. When this was a farm, before the Lakes Estate was built, it was a, a farmhouse and a barn. And it got converted into a community centre and we think it's really great that these two buildings are now back in the same ownership. But we want there to be more of a link between the buildings, which will mean that we have one common entrance it will be very easy for residents to come in and see our council team. Our financial analysis has shown us that it's actually cheaper to do the project in one stage. We have been preparing for this building for quite some time. We have built up uh, reserves in order to help pay for the cost of the building and we broadly have about 50% of the cost of the building in reserves. What we're going to have to do with the other 50% and we will apply for grants and other monies that are available but we may have to borrow up to 50% of the money in order to invest in the future of this building and that investment we believe will be providing great services here in this building for the next 30 to 35 years. Uh, we're, we're very excited about this project especially being able to bring back a number of clubs which now could, re, could be housed in this, in this venue. We're thinking uh, brownies, cubs, uh, sports clubs, uh, meetings, um, and we, we, we've lost some space in, in, in areas like the library where we, would, we, where we could um, get meetings together. So you can, you can see the potential of this building and how that can be utilised in the community. We have done lots of financial analysis about how we can finance this building. And as a council, we can only borrow from uh, the Public Works Loan Board. We can't go to a high street lender or to a bank to acquire any money. We have worked out that if we were to borrow up to half of the cost of the refurbishment of the building, that it, we would not be required to increase the council preset in order to do this. However, it is true that when we have this building open, we'll want to fill it with services that support uh, you, the local residents. 
So that might lead to us having to increase our presets in the future. But just to refurbish this building, we have uh, been really good with the finances and we won't need to increase uh, just to refurbish. So the next steps are for you to give us your view on what we should do. Uh, we really care and want to hear what local residents have to say. So um, please visit the council's website um, to give us your feedback about what you think um, we should do.